What's good, y'all? Welcome to episode of Buzz Boys. Um, we saw the Hornets get blown out by the Celtics, but not really for a lack of offense. Um, it was for a lack of defense. I mean, the Celtics got every shot that they wanted. But at one point, the Hornets were shooting 53% from the floor, which is great. And it just it still wasn't enough. I mean, we just couldn't, couldn't guard a parked car out there. But... There's still some positives from, from this game. I mean, Jalen McDaniels has 24 points. Kelly Oubre, 22 points. I mean, Jalen McDaniels is 9 for 12. That's 75% from the field. And 4 for 6 from 3, that's 66%. <laughs> like, I mean, there was some good stuff about the game. It just it just wasn't enough. Kelly Oubre, 11 for 18, that's 61%. Now, he was 0 for 4 from 3, but he still has 22 points. But these plus minuses are crazy. Jalen McDaniels, negative 29. P.J. Washington, negative 37. Plumlee, negative 17. He had four points. He's really trash. Um, Oubre, negative 37, even though he had 22 points. Tail Maladon, negative 23, even though he has 11 points. He did have five turnovers, though. Oh, my God. Book Knight, negative 22. He had two points. He's really trash. Like, it's, it's, it's really sad. How bad Book Knight is. I mean, 24 minutes, 1 for 7, 0 for 3 from 3. He's really garb. It's sad. It's really sad. Negative 22 plus minus. Um, Nick Richard, 7.7 7 rebounds. He kind of came alive late in the game. Um, negative 18. Bryce McGowns and Kai Jones, the only two people with a positive plus minus. Kai Jones, 9.6 rebounds. Four for 11 from the field. One for three from three. He did make a three. Um, and he had a positive plus minus. And Bryce McGowns, now, he had 10 points and six assists, which is actually really good. But he had 10 points at halftime. So he didn't score the whole second half. Um, he did almost catch a body, though. Um, but he was still a plus six, plus minus. 43% from the field and 50% from three. Um, I mean, there's some plus, there's some plus and minuses to this game. I mean, you look at it, Bryce McGowns actually like he belonged on the NBA floor. And I mean, we've seen him produce. He had 12 points against the Grizzlies and then we just kind of never saw him again. But I mean, he had 10 points then at halftime. It was one of the only people actually playing good, uh, at halftime. And then you got Jim McDaniels, he has 24, Uber 22. I mean, guys stepped up. It just, defensively, it just, the Celtics just did whatever the fuck they wanted. I mean, they finished the game shooting 60% from the field and 46% from three. I mean, it's kind of hard. I mean, we shot 48% from the field and 38% from three. Like, we played good. They just played fucking outstanding. <laughs> and it would just it just it just wasn't enough but i mean man we saw some stuff that i mean we can build upon this time now is to see what guys can hack it going forward with the rear rotation once we get healthy mcgowns and kyle look like they can actually help this team some way somehow um Book night is trash. We we see that. You know, this is this is the time to figure out who could really do something, who could really help. Um, I don't, you know, I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet because it's really not too much to talk about. We got clapped and I got somewhere to go. But um, I mean, I'm still proud of this team. Even though we got destroyed, I mean, it's not like we scored 70 points, you know, like we still had 105 points, still had a had um multiple 30 point quarters, I believe. I mean, we had a 36-point second quarter. We actually won the second quarter. The only problem was, I mean, they scored 45 in the first quarter, and we scored 19, so we were behind the entire time. But, you know, we won two out of four quarters. We won the second quarter, and we won the fourth quarter. I don't know. You guys know me. I try to look on the bright side if I can. I try to look on the bright side if I can. I mean, we didn't we didn't play as bad as some people on the teal are making it look. Like, yes, the Celtics scored, 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 scored. But, I mean, if we were playing, I don't know, maybe any other team, we would have been scraped. I don't know. 
And you never know. But still proud of this team. Still proud of this team. And like I said, McGowns and Kai Jones had good games. When I said in the, pre in the uh, matchup preview, hopefully they can have good games. And they did. Kelly Oubre had a good game. McDaniels had a good game. P.J. Washington, 16-5. and five. Or what, no, 16 and 2 and 2. He had an average game. But I mean, you know, it was like, like I talked about in the matchup preview. Could Book Knight bring something to the table? No. And Plumley play like shit. <laughs> so, I mean, there you go. Um, yeah. That's really what I talked about, though. I said, can we, if we can get around 10 points from McGowns and maybe 10 points from Book Knight or. Maybe a little bit more. You never know. McGowns gave us his 10 points. And Book Knight did jack shit. So, there's that. Um, hopefully, Tarot's year is back soon. Hopefully, LaMelo's back soon. Um, Dennis Smith Jr. is in a walking boot. So, it's, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a while for him. Um, but there can be improvement here. There, there's, there's something to build on. We're still on like four games back, surprisingly. Um, JT Thor had 30 points tonight for the Swarm. Mark Williams, 26. LeAngelo Ball had 26. Like the Greensboro Swarm won by like 40. <laughs> and we got clapped by like 40. Shit's crazy. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, man. Because like I said, I got somewhere to go. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow because I am going to make a video tomorrow about Gordon Hayward's situation. A little conspiracy. Anyways, I'll catch y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.